Hi, my name is Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my update for my Project 100 pan. Excuse me, I am sick, so I want to get through this as quick as possible. So I have all kinds of categories, including makeup. But we're going to start with hair first. I used up the Amazon Beauty Rahua Conditioner and the leave-in treatment. My friend Nita sent these to me in December and I have to say I absolutely love these. These are fantastic for my hair, but they're so expensive so I won't be repurchasing them, but I did enjoy these while they lasted. Now on to face care. I used the Exuviance Overnight Recovery Mask. I got about two masks out of this. It's just a little sample jar. And I liked this. It was really nice. I do have to say, whenever I woke up, my skin was very moisturized and supple. That's the best way I could put it. I, I do love this. The next three that I have are, I, are the Mascology Revitalizing Eye Gels with Pearl Powder and I finished those. So I am excited about that. I don't mind eye masks. I've learned that. I don't mind eye masks at all. So again, my friend Nita sent me these, so I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and used these up. So they are now used up in my skin. I've used more products on my skin now than I ever have before, and my skin thanks me for it. Thank God for project panning. Now to get into um, nail polish, I went ahead and I used up the Julep uh, nail polish in Eleanor. If you want little more reviews, go check out my project polish update. I also used up the Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nail Strengthener. And I used up the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in Hunger Flames. All of the information about that will be in my update for my project polish. Now on to the good stuff, the makeup. I used up this Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse and this lasts a while. I'm telling you, this lasts about four or five months. I know that it's $40, but I miss it already. Even though I'm using the micellar water, I really do miss this. So I see myself purchasing this in the future considering how long it does last and how little you need to use of it. Next, I used up the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. It just simply dried up on me. It was in my collection for way too long. I'll show you the wand. And I recommend this. This is a really good drugstore option. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should. And it's less than $5. Next, I use the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I do like this. Um, I have oily skin, but whenever you go ahead and put foundation on top of it, you can't tell. You can't tell. And I know Leticia Sanchez said the same thing. So, and I have to agree with that. So, if, you ha if you're afraid because you have oily skin and you don't want to use it, don't be afraid. The foundation will cover it right up. It's no big deal. The next one that I have is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And it, this is in 225 Sultry. I don't want to dig it out. This is way too old in my collection. As you can tell, I can't roll it up anymore. And I've got many more lip products, but I do enjoy this. I'm glad I used it up. I really did like this. Next, uh, I used up the Smashbox LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color in Beverly Hills Blush. Uh, this right here is a plastic, but I hated this. I hated this. I have no plans in digging it out. It got all over my teeth. I don't like it. I'm glad I have it out of my collection. So glad. The next two are eyeliners. This is uh, Urban Decay Glitter Rock. I just simply couldn't sharpen it anymore. So that's out. And the next one is Urban Decay and Stargazer. 
again I couldn't sharpen it anymore so I'm glad and you know it was starting to stab me in the eye that's not good so I have so many pencils I want to get out this year so that is gone the really exciting stuff I finally finished up the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton and Tropic Hues. This took me two months to finish up, so I am really happy about that. And also, I used up the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This did not take me long at all. In fact, it shocked me. I did not remove the stopper because I didn't like the color at all, but hopefully, I'm not sure. If this is going to show up on camera how empty this really is but I know I could see right through it and I tried to get more out and it just was really really goopy oh it just seems like you can't see that but I assure you it is gone and I used this up as of yesterday and I have moved on to the uh, Smashbox liquid lipstick and this was in a previous project pan this came with a Sephora play box and this is in the shade driver's seat a lot of people don't know the name of this and what you do is on the back here what you do is you peel it back and so that'll give you all the information as far as um, the name and stuff like that so now the thing about it is whenever I used it, it's what's on my lips today. I did notice that already I see little areas that are sort of like right there. Whoops. That you could kind of see um, the side. So I would imagine that this is not going to take me very long either. Now I do want to say Lipstick and Bagon, and I hope I said that name right. She's doing an all liquid lipstick project pan, and it's such a genius idea. So brave. I'm going to link that video down in the description box below. You should go check her out and definitely subscribe to her. She's brave in doing this. This is something that I find to be innovative in the project pan community because everybody is so afraid of liquid lipsticks. And I just, I, I absolutely loved it. So please go check her out. Um, now, I've been using my other Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. And if I can get it open, this is where I am right now. Obviously, some of the dome is gone. So... Again, this is going to take about two months to use up. Now onto my Becca uh, highlighter in Moonstone. This actually, I did hit pan on this, and then I went to put it away on its side, and I opened it back up, and it shattered. So you have to be really careful with this. And I was using it shattered because I was so afraid of repressing, but I did end up repressing it, and I am... I'm really happy with the results. It doesn't affect the formula any or the pigmentation. So there really isn't a whole lot in there, but a little bit goes a long way with highlighters. So that's what I have left. As you could tell along the edges right there, there is pan, but there you go. And I apologize for the noise upstairs. There is workers going on, but I'm sick and I wanted to get this out as soon as possible. Next, I've got the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. My previous marks wore off, but this is where I was last time and this is where I am today. I'm staying pretty consistent with it, so this is going to hang on for quite a while and all the more reason why I love this. So if you want to go ahead and um, Check out my empties video because there is going to be a lot more empties than this. Along with, as always, every single month, I put in the description box how much or the value of everything that I used up for the month. It's easier for me to keep track of it that way. And I love it when other people do that as well. So I always want to go ahead and do, uh, I always want to use up more than I bring in. 
and so far it's been pretty successful. So be sure to check the description box for that and all my information. And if you want to contact me, feel free. I don't bite very hard anyway. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.